Hello everyone, does that logo ring a bell? That's right, you're looking at an all new Walkman by Sony Ericsson and this time it's in the form of the handset. This is Phone Arena and today we'll present you the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman, a feature phone with some Walkman features and a 3 inch capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 240 by 400 pixels. Let's take a closer look at the design first. The device is very light on the front, it's made out of plastic, you can see the glossy plastic right here, there is this silver sideline encircling the device, and this huge home button right here is a signature feature of Sony Ericsson's latest handsets. On the back you have a basic 3 megapixel uh, fixed focus camera and the plastic cover, that's where the speakerphone is. And overall the device feels very toyish in the hand, it's very light and thin as well. So it's very easy to hold and it's not even noticeable in the pocket. But the biggest deal about having an, another Walkman is the purely music features. And here we have two buttons that uh, accentuate those. There's the, the Walkman key which takes you to the music application and the zapping key which allows you to get a quick preview of the chorus of a song. And one of the uh, interesting features of the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman is the karaoke function which uh, muffles down all vocals so you can uh, sing along to, to the song and uh, enjoy yourself and have a good time and let's see how that works in the interface of, of this handset. The Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman comes with the corner touch UI which is basically a skin uh, which Sony Ericsson has previously used on top of Android smartphones but here we have it just as a feature phone and uh, we have four icons on, on the four corners. The first one was the W icon which takes you to your music player and here's where the zap function happens. It just plays the chorus of a song so you can get quickly acquainted with, with a track you haven't previously heard and on the right you have a, a karaoke function which just uh, quiets down the vocals, basically mutes the vocals so you can sing along to the melody and we find it quite fun actually it's some of, one of the best features of this phone. Then in terms of standard functionality in the bottom left corner you have the standard keypad for all your calls, you have your messaging section and unfortunately when you try to type you only have the T9 keypad for, for typing, no full QWERTY keyboard here. And then finally your phone book is also pretty standard, you have uh, plenty of options, you can add a work number, different numbers, emails and so on. And in the home screen you have different home panes which you can uh, flick, flick around and you also can bring this pull up menu where you have three lists of icons and here we can pick the friends application which basically aggregates uh, some of your con contacts in a visually appealing way. You can uh, add Twitter, Facebook or mail accounts here for quick access and if we go back into the main menu everything here is pretty standard. That's how the uh, gallery works and we've noticed that with some SD cards it wasn't able, the phone wasn't able to recognize correctly images or video files and that's how they look like and these are just native photos taken on, on the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman. Then as we said the phone comes with a 3 megapixel fixed focus camera which is a very basic unit. You can see that we have no uh, manual settings. You can only if you tap in the bottom right corner you can switch between photo and video and that's the uh, button for capturing either photo on or videos and that's as much of, of options as you get. And we have to mention that we have a prototype unit here so this might change in the final version. The Mix Walkman also comes with the Play Now and Track ID applications by Sony. Ericsson but uh, if you're looking for deeper social integration you're looking at the wrong place here we only have shortcuts to the mobile versions of Facebook and Twitter and the same goes for YouTube and the only uh, thing of uh, real difference here is the Google Talk application. So we said that in order to access more social services you have to resort to the browser and that's the browser right here on the Mix Walkman. It doesn't support double taps or multi-touch so you're basically left with a very basic uh, software and here we can try and tap uh, on phonerin.com to see how quick it opens and how it renders the website. As you can see it's very different from the desktop version and it uh, renders it in a couple of pages so that's what you have a very stripped down experience in comparison to a desktop browser. Our expectations for this cute new Mix Walkman are shaped by its price. It's placed right in the low-end segment but currently for a feature phone that's very close to some 
cheaper Android handsets like the Samsung Galaxy Mini, which offers similar functionality and actually plenty of more uh, options for extending the stock experience through apps, which you don't get on the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman. So that's why we don't have uh, huge expectations for, for it to sell, but nevertheless, it might lure some of you uh, nostalgic for the Walkman brand or uh, music fans and check out our detailed preview at phonearena.com to get all the details about this handset. Thank you for watching.